Answering another uh, DIY solar question today with uh, does solar assistant work when using battery communication with the XP's and or the 18K. All right, today's setup I'm using the communication hub. My battery dip switches are running one through six, seven, through 12. I'm also running the 18K through this cable. It's plugged into the RS485-3. The batteries are plugged into the RS485-1. This is battery. And the 6000 XP is plugged into the CAN-1 inverter. So this wire goes over there. There's my Pi, and up here we got battery details. You see we have 1200 amp hours, battery percentage, battery voltage, discharges 3.7 amps, and swinging over here to the solar assistant, we're pulling 3.6, 4 amps. So you can see it's reading the packs. It's been about um, a month since I've had a full state of charge. So some of these uh, state of charges have gotten off a little bit. Actually that one, and I want to say this one were unplugged when I did some rewiring. So they were disconnected for about 10 or 15%. But once it hits uh, 50, 56.5-ish, they'll all reset to 100% anyway. So. Do as you can see, it's pulling the data from all packs. Last pack, and then coming over here to the XP. Uh, I am not currently running them in parallel, uh, so but. Technically, these are running off a different setup right now, off a uh, four 12 volt batteries in series. And did some uh, charge and discharging on these. Up here, I have it set to lithium. It's reading 56.5 volts. Sorry, not 56.5, 53.5. Batteries percent state of charge, 84%. Solar system saying 85%. Hub is saying 84%. And 18K is saying 84%. And I have a very little dis low discharge here. All right, so back over here, we're still 84. And the zero kilowatts was, there's no load on this inverter. But it's reading 12 or 1.2 kilowatt hour storage. So I will unplug, well that won't work. My solar system cable's right there. And it comes up, then comes into the solar assistant, the Pi. I got an ethernet cable running for the Pi because it's Wi-Fi sucks. And this is just power cord. Um, well, you know, I can still unplug this and it'll switch to six kilowatts or 600 amp hour. Sorry. It may take a minute to do oh, 700, 600 and let's swing over here to the 18 K and we are reporting 600 amp hours. Max charge, discharge, and I'll throw up some screenshots from the EG4 app for the inverter showing the, the batteries. But on here, I wonder if it's going to disconnect those other six. 
it did not. Let me plug them back in. All right, so plug back in, 900, it's so quick to read them. And this one's already up to 1200. But, all right, swinging over by settings, I went to, you see I got two of the Luxes powered on. I could technically connect a third one. It's currently powered up, but uh, it's not being used for um, loads at the moment. But the battery, I switched over to the, what do you want to call that, NARDA 485 USB serial. If I click on Advance. Uh, for the battery, I wanted to read current from the batteries. Maximum pack count was 12. And capacity is 60. Not sure if those are required, but the pack count I had, I had at 6 before. I had to switch that to 12 because now I have 12 batteries. But there we go. Battery again. So as of right now, it's working. I have tried connecting uh, the XP and the 18K to just the rack itself. Uh, 18k here, 6k down there. It worked, but there were some. Sometimes there was a communication error, and the 18k would uh, report um, battery communication error. Uh, same with as the XP. So they do not work when um, together reading the battery, unless you're using the hub. Now, when I did it with the batteries, it went like 36 hours before I had my first communication failure. So while I've only been doing this for about an hour, I'll let it run up for a couple days. And if, if it has issues, I'll let you know. But uh, so far, I might have to leave my Pi out here. But now that I have an Ethernet connection for the Pi, it doesn't matter because that Wi-Fi would just disconnect all the time. But I used to have issues with the, um, the battery disconnecting too. I'd come here and the settings and the battery would say disconnected, but the inverter was connected. But that was under the old uh, Ultronix 6500EX EGU4 brand version. So using a solar system with a battery communication cable, what do you get? You get temperature. You get per battery current, voltage, temperature for each battery, cells high and low. You get per battery discharge, per battery state of charge. And now moving over to the hub, what do you get with the hub? So you get the ability to use battery communication with the inverters and with solar assistant. In addition to it, it appears you can share the battery communication between different inverters. So while these three inverters share the same battery, they don't share the same load yet. Alright, so back over here to the hub, we get, we get a state of health. That's cool. We get current voltage. We get max and minimum temperatures. We get environmental and some other temps. We get each cell voltage. We get temperature sensors one through four, and we get the status of the discharging and charging MOS. They're both enabled. 
Oh, and we get a estimated um, battery capacity. So we get uh, just one more detail. So state of health, uh, cycles, cycle counts missing on the hub, if you need it, that is. But the cycle count, the average cycle count is covered up here on the 18K when you use an RS-485. You get max charge and discharge. You get the, the entire pack's max and minimum voltage. You get maximum and minimum temperature. And you get some other cool details, numbers. So, using uh, LP4s, Light Power 4s, with the hub, with the Solar Assistant, uh, and the XPs, 6000 XPs, and the 18K works. So, I'll do another video if I have issues with the communication in the future. But I'll leave it plugged in for a while to just get some uh, data points and just try it out. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Uh, my goal was just to put out my experience with the equipment. Um, recently, Signature Solar reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to be an affiliate. I'm like, why not? I read through the contract. I agree with it. And I accepted it sign it and return it so I now have affiliate links for signature solar I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything else for any other type of link or affiliate some people ask for like things I bought off of Amazon so I might try to put together an Amazon store but uh, I don't know if anything there's affiliate links in below if I did it correctly if I not uh, I didn't look at one of my older videos uh, I felt like I put all the affiliate links in the videos that are EG4 specific but like I said thanks for watching I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with my cluttered mess of testing